breaking news as we come on the air reports out of Israel that the IDF has begun a contentious ground invasion into Rafah, striking limited targets after issuing the evacuation of some 100,000 Palestinians sheltering there. This, as Hamas says, it has agreed to a ceasefire proposal, the framework of which is still unclear. So let's get right over to Atra al-Nashar, who's been tracking the latest for us. And Atra, frankly, a lot of confusion around this agreement that Hamas has said it will accept. What do we know at this point? Yeah, right. I mean, there was a lot of hope when the news broke that Hamas had agreed to a ceasefire agreement. There were celebrations, reported celebrations in Gaza that saw, that this nightmare may soon be over. And then shortly after, we heard Israel say that this agreement that was uh, that was um, agreed to by Hamas did not meet their requirements. And now there's reporting, Amira, that what Hamas agreed to was, an, was a uh, ceasefire deal that was put forth by mediators, by Qatar, by Egypt, by the United States. Remember, they're all working together in Cairo on this. Uh, and it's not something that Israel actually helped negotiate. Uh, we may learn more about why that was even presented to Hamas in the first place. Uh, we may never know. Of course, these negotiations are incredibly delicate. And Amira, that's really why the White House says they're not disclosing any concrete details about what uh, is agreed to by Hamas, what Israel is still demanding. But we do expect that if there were a temporary ceasefire, it would last for six weeks. That's something the National Security Council's John Kirby uh, said uh, today, and that's been a standard uh, starting point for these, these negotiations. Uh, but what we're also learning from various reports is that Israel's red line is agreeing to a total end to the war. That's something Hamas is demanding. Israel says no. And new reports that military activity has officially ramped up in Rafah. Could it derail the negotiations or is this Israel's signal that they're no longer willing to negotiate the fact that they've, they've gone in with more force today? Well, Israel does say they're sending this delegation to Egypt to continue to negotiate. So that's something, something that indicates that that these negotiations are not dead, uh, despite uh, the ongoing military offensive that we're seeing unfold in Rafah at this very hour. Uh, but I do want to point out something that Jordan's foreign minister said uh, on Twitter. They said that Netanyahu is jeopardizing a ceasefire deal by bombing Rafa. Now remember, uh, it's at least Israel's case for, for launching this offensive in Rafa is that it's putting military pressure on Hamas. Well, if, if they're suddenly scrambled, Hamas is suddenly scrambled or leaders are killed, that could totally derail these negotiations. It's possible Hamas could pull out. So it's really going to depend what happens in the coming hours and the coming days. Well, a lot is at stake here, that's for sure. Live from Washington, D.C., Atrel Nashar, thank you.